feel like all cats are kind of weird. Oh my god, it's so loud. Why does everything launch at 100% volume? Every time. This game came out in 2020. Is that true? Uh, I know you can't see yet. We're working on that. We are working on that. Me here at the studio with all of my, uh, production crew. We're trying to get that all set up for you. Single player. Create game. This is a standard Civ 5 game. Oh, this doesn't have any DLC. No, that's not okay. I need to include DLC. Uh... What DLC is good for Civ? Um, is there just a bundle? It's going to cost like $3 million. Just a suck. At least Gathering Storm. Yeah, I remember liking Gathering Storm. Wait, it's $40? The Anthology Bundle? Platinum Edition. Wait, this feels like it says it already has Gathering Storm. Oh no. Wait, do I have Gathering Storm? I don't have Gathering Storm yet. Alright, uh, let's buy this. Holy shit, that costs a lot. <laughs> this is how they get you. This is how they get you. It did not cost $200. It wasn't that bad. I would not have spent $200 on this. It is costing me $57.97 to get all of the DLC for this game. Feels fair to me. Um... I have some of the DLC on the Epic Games Store, but I wanted it on Steam, so I spent like 20 bucks to rebuy some of the stuff, probably. I don't know. Don't... Don't judge me. Solaris is $300 for everything? Oh my god. That seems like a lot. All right, single player, create game, expansion, gathering storm, choose civilization. What is this? What are the random leader pools? Did I play as Abraham Lincoln already? And then I played as Alexander and got bored. Did I win as Abraham Lincoln? No, I've never played as this person before. This person just didn't exist yet. Uh, we could also random later. I don't know. Industrial zones give plus two amenities and plus three loyalty per turn, but your plantations give minus two loyalty per turn. Well, that's a bit on the nose. Receive a free, free melee unit after constructing industrial zones and their buildings. The free unit does not require resource when created or to maintain and receives plus five combat strength. Okay. All diplomatic policy slots in the current government are converted to wildcard slots, plus one diplomatic favor per turn for every wildcard slot in their government. Okay, sounds good. Everything sounds good so far. American Unique Atomic Era Unit. Oh, it's the B-51! And places the fighter, plus five combat strength, plus two flight range, 50% more experience. That's cool. The P-51 swung the war in the air in the World War II. 
from building unique to America, 100% tourism pressure from the city to where other civilizations where the game enters the modern era for a film studio. Okay. Theory. Choose game speed. I don't remember what speed I play at. Does anybody remember? What is online? Double speed game used for online multiplayer. Huh. Do I just play normal? Or do I play quick? I don't know. Have I played with loyalty on before? I have. Choose map type. Continents is fine. Choose map size. Small is fine. Game modes. Apocalypse mode. No, too much text. Barbarian clans mode. I think we like this. Dramatic ages mode. Huh? Players in Dark Ages will have a portion of their empire immediately fall into free cities. What? No. And is your favorite slower favors in domination? Unbelievable. Heroes in Legends mode. 12 powerful hero units from the world's myths and legends. Heroes possess great power and unique abilities, but also limited lifespan. When a hero appears, they remain for a set number of turns before their time is up, and they naturally expire. Okay, I'm down for that. Monopolies and corporations. Oh, this was in like Civ 4, right? Didn't Civ 4 have monopolies and corporations? Sure. Only game mode you really like for normal play is Barb Clan, even that is kind of unbalanced. Okay, fine. Wait, zombie defense mode? Oh my gosh. Alright, Abraham Lincoln. Let's do it. Let's play the game. I already beat their billions. I'm a their billions god gamer. 900% difficulty. Easy. From the first I'm on a win streak. Of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From Greetings, my liege. As your personal advisor, I am qualified. This river has fl mm. Why does Wazda not move the map? But I don't need that for anything else. Uh, that looks a good tile. I should set all so I can use that tile. Also, look at all this rice. We are by the Rio Grande. I can just like settle here and then farm this, and then my city will be 7 million population and I'll win the game. Oh my god, that movement speed. That, we can fix that, right? Um, time of day, 11.30 a.m. Quick combat enabled. Quick movement enabled. No. Sh sure. No. No. No advisor. Keep all the auto saves. All right. I have also played a decent chunk of Civ Six on uh, strategic mode. So, I would like this tile, but maybe I don't have to move for it. If I move, I'm on floodplains, which, who knows Civ 6? 
Does settling on top of floodplains, is that worse than settling with floodplains in your city limits if the floodplains proc? Does it, like, matter? If it doesn't matter, I'd probably just move here. It's slightly worse. Hmm. I do also lose a forest that I wouldn't hate chopping. Also, I have exactly one good tile. <laughs> I, like, don't have... It's unclear what my second good tile is. Aww. Uh... I could lose population before I have a dam. You know what? I have so much food. Who cares about losing population? Let's go here. I found another couple of two twos, but they're a long way away. I've discovered the content of Ur. Wonderful. Next turn. What's the Potomac? There's a wonder I can get the mix of floodplains better. I don't think I am planning on getting the Great Bath uh, on Deity difficulty. I think that is not conceivable, really. So I want to get Industrial Zones. That's the entire thing that my Civ does, is build Industrial Zones. I kind of just want to build a monument. A little bit. I'll go for a scout first, and then a monument. Should probably grab animal husbandry. Um, let's look at this. So industrial zone. Plus one production from adjacent. Plus two from aqueducts. It likes mines, lumber mills, strategic resources. If I want there, 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 there. That's reasonable, yeah? The second city is kind of bad, though. We could also go the other direction. We'll wait and see what we have over here. Tentative. Tentative idea of what we might do, though. Got some desert. Desert can be nice for building certain early game wonders. Oh! Oh! Okay, cool. Streamer luck is real. Hey, Carlo Shooter. This first meet. Okay, we've met Kaho Kia. We are the first person to meet them. They want a trade route, which is doable. Um, what's their special thing? Builders can now make Kaho Kia mounds improvements. Plus three gold. City to plus one amenity. That is a lot of, a lot of text. I'm going to assume that what that says is there's a building and you want to build one of them in each of your cities. Do I share save files? Uh, I I don't know. Probably not. Maybe though. We're going to a three food tile instead of a two production two food tile which seems a lot worse. Like, a lot worse. Hey! A city-state met me! Wait, who's that? Is that a city-state? That's a city-state. So that's another one. Yeah. Cat also wants a trade route, and we get two production toward units, which is good. Could I, um... Could I go for Petra here? I could try to build some sort of Petra here, I guess. Is it good? I don't know. 
Which one's Petra? I could try. Honestly, this city seems better than this city at the start, so... Is this the time you're playing this? I am currently playing it. I've met Candy! What does Candy want? Eureka for Astrology. I don't remember what that is. Look at these cows. That's a lot of cows. You will meet these people. Some Mark and... Also the person to meet them. Am I on an island? Construct a preserve? What is a preserve? Preserve. I have never seen Constructor Preserve before as a, as a quest. Grants up to three housing based on appeal. Oh, is this special to America or something? Requires mysticism. Wait, I've never seen this before. Okay, there's definitely some new stuff I haven't seen. <laughs> my, cat, my cat just jumped into my laundry basket. It's not like one of the low, flat ones either. It's one of the tall, narrow ones. Um, mysticism. I guess mysticism is actually culture. Ah, anybody can do this. Culture bombs adjacent neutral tiles. I've never seen this before. What is that? Grove. Wow. Okay, right, the game's a bit different. They buff undeveloped tiles around them. So I have plus two um, hammers for building units, which makes building a monument feel worse. We just grab a slinger and assume that I find some barbarians to kill. I could also go for a builder. I could also just, like, build the monument anyway. I will, in theory, need a monument, right? When did this settle? I thought that I saw this tile and it wasn't within their borders. Rushing to folklore is a pretty valid strat. Wouldn't I have to found a religion for folklore to be good? Does this only give me one faith per turn? I got nerfed. A lot of stuff is different. Should make sure that things are doing what I think they are. Oh, it's only one production for producing units, actually. Wait, is this because I'm playing on standard speed instead of quick speed, actually? It might be because I'm playing on standard speed instead of quick speed. City-states also start with settlers at game start. Gotcha. We have some flooding! One of the food tiles is a bit better. And they decided to... Settle in my territory. How dare they. I boosted foreign trade. Cool. There are some barbarians. Probably out here. Maybe here? I don't know. There isn't much room for them to be in here. Am I isolated? Where's the, where's the AI? There's meant to be a deity AI who come kill me. What's going on here? I could purchase that tile. I think I would somewhat prefer to purchase a monument. I can't do that, can I? 240 gold? That's actually kind of doable. I do have decent gold income. Uh, 
I am fond of pigs. Horses. Dogs look up to us. Horses. I found a horse. Seems okay. We are by Aha. the grace of God victorious. Oh. Of the United Kingdom of we historically don't get along Ireland. great all the time. Soon, dare I say, the Empire. It's an honor to meet you. Exchanging information on our capitals is a great idea. You're a long way away. I would like to send you a delegation. Would you like the Book of Thoth? Too bad. It's mine. I'm sorry. I'm playing on the wrong game speed. I meant to get a Pantheon at 25. Not at whatever this is. I need to switch to quick speed. We have to GG this. Wait. Wait, I did get it now. I'm confused now. Do you get it at 25 or at 30? You get it after research? Uh, did somebody take the one where I get a settler already? Is that a thing that I cannot do because somebody else already took it? Looks like it. You go Monument to the Gods to try to build, like, Petra and the Pyramids or something like that. Faith from Quarries, no. Mines over Luxury and Bonus Resources, no. Uh, city growth rate 10% higher. I just go fertility rates. How many tiles do I have with breathtaking appeal? Lenses appeal. Well, none of these. Okay. Yeah, I guess not. Uh, farming a resource should give me a Eureka. Why don't I have any science? I already researched something, right? Uh, <laughs> I need that. Let's go for pottery. Unclear why any of these would be more relevant than any of the other ones right now. I think I'm just kind of building settlers slowly, and that's kind of the plan. That is a lot of desert. One, two, three, four. I can't fit another city in here. Here? I could put it here. Doesn't seem great. How do I get more production? I need to grow to the horse tile, which I'm probably doing. Ten turns. Alright. Mind isn't caught up with my muscle memory. Oh, I do need mining for that. Okay. I'm gonna switch to mining. My bad. Production settler! Nazca! Eureka for wheel. I don't remember how to do that. My dad? We met Half Moon! Click to treat with Half Moon. Spend 100 gold to prevent this clan from taking your cities for 20 turns. The clan will gain 8 points toward a city state conversion. 95 gold to hire a barbarian horseman unit from this clan. The unit will appear near the city of Washington this turn. The clan will gain 5 points toward city state conversion. Clans can be hired once every 15 turns. 
Spend gold to encourage the clan to attack another civ or civ P state. I don't have any health left. Am I playing with any mods? No. His best. That one. Uh, this one probably. I probably need production. That is so much desert. Truly unhinged amounts of desert. Let's go far and trade because I need a bunch of trade routes for city states to be happy with me. Which is probably a useful goal to have. Only five turns on the horse growth. Six turns on mining. So I should actually go stand here, I guess. Ooh. Very unreasonable amounts of desert. Okay. Don't hate it. Unfortunately, I am now using a two food, nothing else tile. So we've kind of outgrown our good tiles in Washington. Can you like specialist um, this early? Can you, like, work people in the city center or something? I don't think so. But... <laughs> clan dispersed. Half Moon Clan has been destroyed. New Barbarian Outpost down there. Oh, they're gonna come kill my worker. Rude. Petra will rise again. Is this Petra? Night Thunder. I should play Spirit Island. I forgot about Spirit Island. There are too many good games. This actually looks like a much better place for Petra than this. Look at all these hills. And also I feel like the tiles around it support building Petra a lot better. Maybe there aren't any forests though. I guess there are no forests. That's nice. Some horses. Uh, actually, you go here. When you find yourself in a. I've researched mining. Let's go for pottery again now. Just grabbed Spirit Island last night. Ever played it before? Do I think the video game would do a good enough task of teaching you how to play, or should you source something on YouTube? Please accept my warmest thanks for your kind. Uh, I think you'll work it out share. through the video game, maybe. Yes, you can watch me playing it and trying to explain what's going on, but I didn't really like read the rule book word by word or anything when I did it. Am I allowed to build a city here when they have a camp there? Is it like a thing you can do? Anybody know? The city is so bad, like here, at first. Eventually it grows into a cool Petra spot, but it takes a long time. Oh, what if I just built there? Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15? Is that a desert hill? It is. 15 tile Petra. There are no forests to support building it. 
There are no tiles for the city to work until Petra is built. What is this? Consulate. Hmm. Diplomatic quarter. Little settler view on bottom left to confirm. I kind of want to do. <laughs> I kind of want to do that. I think I'll grab one more settler. Looks like I have time to grab one more settler. What is that? What is this? Meteor site. Game's wild. Suffer. You're alone. Suffer needs to be cancelled. He's attacking little cat. Zephyr is deeply problematic. Oh, you like me. Would you like my horses? I mean, you kind of would. 240 gold. Seems useful. These barbarians are dead as well. gonna happen. You gotta go for the mega yields. What are you even doing playing this game if you're not going for the mega yields? What is Petra? You're gonna you're gonna read this and start salivating. I'm warning you. Petra. Plus two food, plus two gold, and plus one production on all desert tiles for this city. No man ever wetted clay and then left it. As if there would be Wait, maybe I should just be going this way. Like, that looks perfectly settleable. Why am I settling toward an inhospitable desert when I could just go westward? It is my manifest destiny, after all. There's a non-problematic thing. Uh... Speaking of problematic, one day a Civ game will have Donald Trump as a leader. What? I think they usually pick people who were successful. <sighs> I 
We have sent a royal envoy. Well, well wonderful. Well, that's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. Oh, thanks, Sean Bon. Go better production toward ancient and classical era naval units. Probably not. It was a Ooh. fantastic landscape. For all around were rocks of the weirdest forms standing. I triggered my Eureka for astrology. That is another sieve. I was thinking, like, oh, we can go settle that way, but that is another civilization already settled here. So I guess we can't, actually. Can I need another builder? Can I buy one? Someday. Someday I could. I think I was moving toward here, but I'd much rather settle this. It just looks like it has better tiles. Candy likes me more. Thing. Choose a civic. Early Empire. Feels like it'll be boosted very soon. So let's go for that. Maybe I take a break on building the Settler and build a Trader real quick. And then I can build the Settler while Early Empire is boosted, because this gives me 50% production towards Settlers. That seems like it would make sense. Do I have the British to the east and the Aztecs to the west? Oh, it's Indonesia. Okay. It is an honor to meet you. Would you like an envoy? Wait, that's your capital? Ooh, kind of close to me. I see. Also, it feels like England doesn't have anywhere else to settle. Maybe I need to settle the city sooner rather than later, or else it's going to get settled by someone else. Also, I could just like settle here, and then I could chop all of the trees. It's a lot further away from where I started, though. Feels strategically vulnerable. I think it gets fewer tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's fewer than I counted last time, right? Although I have to, like, kill the city-states to take their tiles. But, you know. I get military units, right? That's my special thing. Doable. When has England ever been land hungry? Fair. Fair point. Philadelphia. The second American city was Philadelphia and the first was Washington. You heard it here first? Let's grab a monument. I'm going to eventually purchase a builder. Ooh, I can block you from settling. That seems useful. Yeah, I don't really want them to come this way and settle. I won't stop them forever, but I can slow them down. I won't be able to walk through this mountain pass. Inhospitable, inhospitable desert seems a bit too nice for Philadelphia. Hmm. You don't think I can build Petra in the middle of the desert? Oh, you have so little faith. Wait and see. Friend Indonesia, didn't we just trade information on where our capitals were? Why are you forward settling me anyway? What is that shit all about? I have luxury resources. Make a deal, would you like that? How much lump sum would you give me? I don't. 
that didn't answer my question. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, that's fine, whatever. What does a builder cost? 215 gold? Holy shit. That's a lot of gold. Adjusting plans to new information is a coward move. Possibly true. Did I give them the Book of Thoth? What do I need this for? Holy shit. That's it? That's how much we can get out of them? I mean, I'd be down. What would you give me for it? You don't have as much. Alright, let's take all of England's gold for this great work. I'd also like all your horses. No! You will not accept this deal under any circumstance. All of your gold for the next 2,000 years was fine. But one horse? Just too much. Fair enough. Let's purchase a building. How dare I try to take the queen's pony? Ah! They grew to my, uh, my diamonds. Cool. Did I dissuade them from settling here? Oh, I think what's happened is they've moved here again. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Kahokia and Akkad both would like this. Pretty sure I sold them a horse? It's true, the horses that they have are from me. I think they probably don't want to sell them because they have no way to get them of their own. Cab safer? Nah. Back to building a settler? Or do I want to, like, put a turn into a granary, maybe? Or another builder. Use another builder. What does this do? Housing. Oh, I kind of need housing for this city, maybe. Right, I'll put a turn into this. I need one more here, yeah. We're very close. And then I can build mounds. Will they just, like, go to war with me if I'm blocking them? I don't know how smart the AI is. I have enough military units to just fortify that pass. Victoria Age of Empire enforces borders. 
I guess I don't need to buy open borders from you, actually. We're already friends. Usually I'd buy open orders there. Open. Uh, da, da. Usually I would buy open borders there. Oh, it's four more turns to build this. Oh yeah, maybe I'll just finish the granary then. Feels like a waste of time. How can building a granary right now ever be good? I don't really know. It doesn't seem like it would be good. If I got to settle over here, where would I settle? Here? Just right in the middle? One city? I can go two cities and make an industrial zone. Uh, diamond along the river. I just kind of feel like if I build here, I will get declared war on instantly. But if theoretically I could do that, I could build a canal here. That's the Eiffel Tower. I could build a canal here. No. Doesn't do anything. I could build, like, a dam. I believe industrial zones benefit from dam adjacency. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I could do this. It's optimistic. It's, it feels optimistic, but in theory I could do that. Hmm. I could build the Panama Canal. Actually, I could, right? I could build um, a two-slot canal there and then a one-slot canal here as well. That could be kind of sweet. Flavorful, I feel. Next turn? I think I want two more settlers. Let's get the granary built. You want this thing? You can have this thing. That's fine. I don't want that, though. Give me more money. Cannot accept this deal. Alright, give me that, then. Writing means sharing. It's part of the human condition to want to share things. Thoughts, ideas, opinions. Huh. Etemenenki. So the way I would want to build... Oh shit, I can't block them anymore, right? I don't think I can block them anymore. Because they'll just... Wait, is a settler allowed to move through my military unit? Maybe it's not. Maybe there's a chance. Hey, peeps. We've got the build path for Petra or the build path for this city, Corridor. And it looks like Indonesia is going to build there, so I don't get that. So I just go for the build path for Petra. There's like two settlers, one there, one there. Lots of traders. I need to research currency and build a commercial hub probably straight away. Looks a lot like they can't move through my military unit. So they're gonna end up moving here. I don't think I can keep them out though. I think I was like two turns short, I guess. Pretty close. Uh oh. That looks scary. How do you send hammers via trade routes? I just get like a food and a hammer 
for a trade route, basically. An internal trade route. Reject modernity. Embrace bartering. That's a forest. That's a forest. Here? No. I also just built this Petra. It's much worse, but it's a lot more buildable. Okay, I guess I will not be building this. I can still build this. If I would like. I don't know if it's worth. Is Mini Jorbs playing Indonesia? That traitor. Why am I not surprised? And get attacked. Alright, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh my god, it's 10 p.m. <laughs> it's wild. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I cannot believe I just streamed for five hours. I feel like I streamed for like two hours. I guess I played two runs of Slay the Spire, right? Oh, I'll be back tomorrow. Ah, <sighs> more Spire runs to play. I didn't play that much Civ, did I? No, I don't think I played that much Civ. Good night, good night. Be well. Thanks for hanging out. Hashtag sponsored by Holes Kern today.